and welcome. Today we are going to review Nightmare Doll of the Abyss Beatrix. Yep, love the name. And love the artwork. I mean, this is probably one of the coolest artworks I've ever seen, so yeah. I really like the Nightmare Dolls, so that's going to be interesting to see how this card can work. It's a G unit, grade 4, triple drive, 15,000 plus, 1 critical, Dark Zone, Pale Moon, Vergaroid. I'm Beatrix, I'm behind you. No, she's not. She's not behind me. She's not behind me, but creepy. Creepy. So, I guess that's cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, out of easy, choose three of your Vergaroid rear guards and put them into your soul. At the end of the battle that this unit attacks a vanguard, if you have a hard card with Nightmare Doll in its card name, you may pay the cost. And if you do, put this unit into your G zone, face up, shoot. Nightmare Doll in its card name, you may pay the cost. And if you do, put this unit into your G zone, face up, choose up to two workeroids from your soul and call them to separate RC. So once again, this is a card that's pretty simple. I mean... You choose uh, three Vercaroid rear guards, which be basically is any other Nightmare Doll, because this is probably going to be running a Nightmare Bo Nightmare Doll build. Because I don't see you running this in a Pale Moon and uh, another Pale Moon build, because I think uh, it only works in a in, in a Nightmare Doll build. So yeah, you put three Vercaroid rear guards, put them into your soul. At the end of the battle, this, uh, this uh, at the end of the battle that this unit attacked the vanguard, it doesn't say that it has to hit. So that's cool. That's good. Uh, if you have Arkham Nightmare Donald's card name, which you will have because you probably just put three cards with uh, Nightmare Doll in their card names into your soul, so uh, you can put this card into your G zone face up. Choose two of your worker right from the zone called separate RC. It's a pretty simple card. I mean, I don't know how good it will be, but it seems really, it seems to have potential. At least that's what I'm gonna give it. Uh, I wanna see how this works. I wanna see how it's gonna affect the Nightmare Doll decks. I think that this is definitely something that I, I will still pick up th four copies, see how many I'm gonna run, but considering that you don't really have that much uh, G units for uh, Pale Moon that works in. I mean, we have a, we have a lot of uh, G units, but they work for their specific decks. So I feel like this is one of those cards that works for their Nightmare Doll builds. So, but tell me what you think about this card. I think it sounds really good, and hopefully it can have some impact. Uh, maybe not the best card I've heard all day, but I think it's good. I think it's good. Tell me what you think. Comment, like, and subscribe, and see you next time.